everyone, welcome to Nicole's Needlework. Today is Friday, August 13th, and it's right around 11 a.m. Um, this is a video podcast about stitching, knitting, and quilting. I can be found on Instagram and Ravelry at Nicole's Needlework, and show notes can be found on my blog, Nicole'sNeedlework.com. And I got Ginger here. <laughs> She was hanging out with her brothers and I, I brought her in here. So we'll see if she stays. So I don't have a whole lot to share, but I wanted to come on here and do a quick video um, and draw the name for the giveaway. Um, one thing I will show real quick, um, I did get the binding put on my shuffle quilt and got it washed and it just looks so nice. I love how quilts look after they're washed. There's the backing. So I'm very happy with how this turned out. And again, this is Shuffle by Lela Boutique. And I use Bonnie and Camille um, Little Snippets fabric. So I use two charm packs. And then the white background is um, actually Moda Bella Solids Off-White, number 200. Um, so yeah, very happy with that. It's really a, a nice size. Um, so the other thing I've mainly been working on is um, my Swoon 16 quilt. And this is by Thimble Blossoms. Um, and I'm using Moda French General Jardin de Fleurs. So this is row three and I've got three blocks. So I'm on, so I finished rows one and two and I'm almost finished with row three. So pretty happy with how this is coming out. Definitely not perfect, but um, I'm learning. <laughs> definitely learning and um, it's definitely been a challenge and that's been a lot of fun. So here I have another block. Um, and this goes in the fourth row. And then, so I actually, I was gonna redo um, several blocks and I just decided to redo two blocks and make the others work. Um, and it turned out fine. So I actually, I ordered more fabric than I need. So I may just, use it for project bags or another uh, quilt in the future. And then I decided, um, since everyone was, or not everyone, but a few people um, were working on kaleidoscope blocks for, by Lori Holt, um, I decided I wanted to try it out. So Christy has um, done a few blocks. She's working on the table runner uh, Lori showed on her video, um, she did like four blocks and she's going to make like a table topper with her blocks. Um, and Kimberly from Fat Gorder Shop did a video showing how to do a block using triangle paper and flying geese paper. And Lori showed how to do a block just the traditional way. Um, so, and Lori is using her new fabric stitch. And I think Christy is using um, an older line of Lori's called Autumn Love. And I'm using the B cross stitch because I got this fat quarter bundle. So here's all the different fabrics here. Um, and then, so I did one block just to try it out and see how it would look. And here's my block. And it turned out okay. It's, I mean, it, like I said, it's definitely not perfect, but I'm not really aiming for perfection. You know, I'm just, um, like I said, I'm just learning and um, just doing my best. But I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Um, I think it's gonna be a really pretty quilt. Um, so the background I'm using is B cross stitch in the cloud um, base. And this is cottage. So the color is cottage. So I'm using that for the background. 
And then I'm using cottage for the binding. Awesome. So get this back. So I think it's gonna be really pretty. So very happy with that. Once I get um, swoon finished, then I will get back to this. I just wanted to do a little practice. And again, this is the Kaleidoscope by Lori Holt. And there's three sizes and there's a cross stitch pattern in here. And she also has uh, pillows, which are really cute. And then there's the cross stitch. And Lori's, she's uh, working on the cross stitch. You can see it on her um, Instagram and her floss tube. I need to watch her floss tube. I haven't seen it yet. And then she gives options for other colorways for the cross stitch. So, so my sewing machine is over there. That's the 301. And that's the one I've been using the most. I really love that 301. Um, but Ginger likes to sit on the window ledge while I'm sewing. <laughs> so she's trying to get over there. Um, but I have the blinds closed because it would be too much light coming in. So poor Ginger. But the only other thing I did work on was um, a picture. So I worked on Jane Southward, uh, 1836 by GGR and I didn't get a lot done, but just a little bit. So right there, I've been working on that tulip filling in. Um, so not a whole lot, but it's so pretty. I'm really loving that. And I got the little leaf there by the tulip. And this is Vintage Exemplar 40 Count by Lakeside Linens. And I got the silk conversion from the attic. So on um, Tuesday, I met up with a great group of ladies here in the area. Um, we, um, mainly talked, but we did a little stitching. Um, they were so nice to invite me and uh, we had a lot of fun. So I'm looking forward to it. We're gonna do it again next month. I'm really, so I worked on Elizabeth Charnley by Lottie Da. So I didn't get a lot done. Just worked on the letter or the words some more. And this is 36 count, um, Chocolate Milk by Fabrics by Stephanie. So I know I said I really just need to concentrate on this and get it done. I just, I really need to just do that. And then I'm using DMC and Weeks Dye Works called for threads. So everything called for. So the only other thing I really worked on was my shawl. <laughs> it hasn't really changed much. Um, I think I only have like four more rows. I'm so excited. I'm getting near the end. So I had a couple dentist appointments. This came with me. Um, I'm just trying to get it done. And then I've got like a million threads to weave in. So that really is it. Um, main thing I've been working on, like I said, is that swoon quilt. And hopefully, I don't know when I'll be able to get that finished. Hopefully by next week. Um, I actually start working next week, but it's just part time and I don't have a lot of hours next week. So maybe I can get it done next week. Um, okay, so I will go ahead and draw for the giveaway. Um, it was for this project bag. And two patterns. So it's, uh, sorry for the glare, snowballs for sale and granita. So I just saw on Kimberly's uh, blog, Jolly Jabber, I believe is her blog. So I just saw on Kimberly um, 
Jolly's blog, I think it's Jolly Jabber blog. Uh, she's doing a stitch along for this pattern. So very pretty, really like this. And she also gives alternative colorways. So the word for this giveaway was charcoal. And let's see. So I'm doing YouTube comment picker. Um, there was 242 entries. I'm going to do that. Let's see. And it's Veronica Gillett or Gillett. Um, I will leave a comment on your comment and just send me an email with your mailing address and I'll get this out to you. So I think that is it. I hope you guys have a great couple weeks. Um, I'll try to do another video um, in two or three weeks, depending on um, work schedule and when I can fit it in. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye.